Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to download SNMP and also MRTG. So by the end of the video, you will be able to display report of your network usage by using SNMP and also MRTG. Let's move on to the tutorial. First, you want to go to the Active State website. Just go ahead and download the latest version of Pro. And all of the download links would be available down in the description below. Next, we want to download MRTG. So just go ahead and download the latest version of MRTG. I will be using the 2.17.7 version. Make sure to download the zip file. So once that's done, you can just go ahead um, and go to your download folder in Windows. And let's just unzip the MRTG. So extract files. And I'm going to change the directory here to make it easier to access. So I'm just going to name mine MRTG. Click OK. Okay, well, that's done. Now let's go to the window C. I should have my MRTG folder right here. Now let's make a new folder to contain all of our HTMLs. So I'll be naming mine www. You can name it um, however you want. Now let's just go ahead and download um, Pro. You can just double click it. Now this is just a matter of clicking next. I accept. Next. Next. And install. You should get a pop-up. You just have to click yes. Now this may take a while depending on your internet speed. Okay, that's done. You want to click finish and finish. Now we want to set up our SNMP. To do that, first thing, you want to go to your Windows on Windows Search. You can just click your window button on your keyboard or you can just go to the bottom left. And you want to search for settings. And in settings, you want to search for apps and features. Click on that. Then you want to click on optional features. and search for SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol and just click install again wait for it to download Once that's done, you can go ahead and check if you download it properly. Now if you scroll, you should be able to see SNMP right here. Now we want to go to search bar again, window search again, and search for services. And this will pop up uh, and you want to scroll down until you find SNMP. 
guess let's find it. Right here, SNMP surface. I'm gonna just go ahead and click traps. Click on traps. Let's just make a new community name. I'll name it public. Add that to the list. You also want to fill out um, the trap destination and just input 127.0.0.1. That is your localhost IP address. And you want to click on apply. Next, you want to go to the top bar again and click on security. And let's add name it again, public again. And in this part, you want to make sure uh, it's on accept SNMP packets from this host then you want to click on apply again there you go you're basically done setting up your SNMP now let's set up our MRTG to do that you want to go home again on the search bar on the Windows search you want to search for CMD or your command prompt and you want to type in CD to change your directory and you want to change your directory to our MRTG folder. So just click on that MRTG. And you want to make sure it's on the bin, the bin folder. And let's just go, go ahead and copy the directory for that. So just paste it to the command prompt. Now the directory is changed. You want to go ahead and type pull CFG maker public at localhost dash double dash global open quotation work dir or work directory and in work directory you want to paste the directory for the www www folder we made earlier close quotation mark double dash output surfer dot cfg and just click enter and let it do its thing once that's done you wanna type in again you wanna type in pro mrtg surfer dot cfg click enter again let it do its thing Okay, once that's done, let's go ahead and check out our WW folder. And you should have all of these new files available. So if you click on this Chrome symbol here, you can just um, you can see your current you can see your current network. You can monitor your current network here. But now we want to make sure that MRTG runs automatically. So to do that, we have to go to we have to go to the MRTG folder again on the bin. And you want to click on CF server.cfg. Just double click it. And you can just go more apps and I'll open mine with Notepad. So in this um, notepad here, you want to insert, insert down below right here, or you want to insert run as daemon, and yes, and then you can just control S, save it, close it again, now we want to go back to your CMD your command prompt and type in pro mrtg surfer dot cfg now you'll, you'll get this output 
um, it means it's already working and make sure you don't close your CMD while your MRTG is running so after this step you're basically done just wait a couple minutes or hours and then you will be able to monitor your network So after 20 minutes, this is what my graph look like. You can see a little bit of change, but if you leave it for a couple more hours, you can definitely see the um, significant change. But that is all for this video and thanks for watching.